up everyone and welcome to another episode of Keeping Calm with Adilo Chino. I got braids but man, that hair there has come out of my braids which is kind of frustrating because I was wearing a hat. I was wearing a nice bucket hat but you know I thought I'll show you guys a bit of a new Adilo Chino because man's all about growth and all of that, you know how it is. But I'm out here, I think it's like down in Portsea on the other side of Fort Nepean. I did this hike I think one of my videos about a year or so ago where I talk about you can't set yourself on fire to keep someone warm but I'm back at the same place or not the same place place but on the other side of that place for a nice hike man it's been such a journey I haven't been out hiking in months it's so weird to be out and about nature seeing people I'm pretty stoked like I'm just lost for words I'm so blessed to be out and about and I'm just like wow and like excited as you can see in my face because I have no idea what I'm talking about but man it is such a nice lovely day the beach is behind me there's people everywhere so I'm trying to sneak in a good video for you guys and talk to you guys about this week's topic and talk to you guys about how amazing 2020 was you know for those people who lost their jobs I'm sorry but there's blessings in disguise and all of that and people who have had a tough 2020 it is coming to the year so I'm pretty sure you all have a nice goal set up for 2021. I'm gonna go and carry my mate into 2021 and tell him like, no bro, we've got this, let's go, let's do this. 2021 is our year and it's our prime year. But yeah, this year here has been a journey and a half. Like, don't get me wrong. People have gone through the extremes. Yeah, they have, I have, we all have. Everyone's on their own little journey, own little world. What I want to talk to you guys about is the simple things. There's questions where you throw out, what is the purpose of life? Why is certain things happening to me and not happening to other people? I go through that every single day. Every day for me is like a challenge. Like, you know, I can give you so many examples where I've thought to myself, like, why isn't it my day today? Like yesterday I had cricket, didn't do well, but I have to realize that it's the simple things that actually drive me into being myself and being a better version of myself. People don't see that and people focus on the bigger picture. I work in software engineering where when you face with a problem, you just get so overwhelmed that you forget to break up that problem in little steps and little sequences to get to your solution. So that's what I want to be talking about today. I probably said that like 10,000 times as usual because I like to babble about and ramble quite a bit. Let me put my hat on because I'm about to burn. You know, I'm not lucky like some people who just tan. No, I do tan. I'm just joking. But yes, yeah, the simple things in life that drive a lot of people, right? I tend to forget the simple things. I tend to forget the things that actually give me purpose. Like, you know, having good food, having a little hike, like a simple thing. We're so clouded and so, what do you call it? Like so overwhelmed with day-to-day -day life, we just forget to do it. And that drives our mental health out the roof. For me, it does all the time. I get like overwhelmed. I get in so much like... What do you even call it? Where you get so worried, anxious. I get so anxious about the future and all of that. But I forget to, you know, go back to my old videos and listen to my own advice and focus on the simple things. I've repeated that like 50,000 times, but yeah, I think you guys are getting the point of what I'm trying to say. Eating good food, staying healthy, focusing on what you have at the current situation, not focusing on things that are out of your control is another thing. And I know 2020 has been hectic. It's been a year where it's broken a lot of people, but that should make you stronger. That's how I see it. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? You know, when you break a bone, your bone becomes stronger when it heals. And that's what this year has been. It's been a bit of a pause. It's been a bit of a journey, but simple things out there, like focusing on friends and all of that are so much more important than the picture. Because it's the processes in life that count, not, not the destination, it's the journey that counts. I'm just mumbling because <laughs> I'm so excited to be out and about and I'm just talking crap. But simple things is what I want to try to get across. But yo, it is what it is. It's a little chino. Mumbling as usual because I'm just so stoked to be out and about. So yeah, focus on you, focus on the simple things. Make 2020 a learning curve and let 2021 be a driving factor to where you want to be and focus on small things like you know food family friends what you have right now because at the end of the day when you think of the bigger picture you tend to forget the simplistic things 
that drive you to be in that final form that solves that final problem of yours or final goal of yours break your goals into smaller things and simpler things and things take time you know things do take time so yeah that's your boy Adilo Chino if you like the video like subscribe I'm just so stoked to be out and about because I don't know what I'm saying but yeah this is me it's your boy keep things simple yalla peace ma salama What up everyone, welcome to part 2 of this video. We have stumbled upon a site called the Quarantine Site. It is an old hospital. It looks so haunted. I'll show you guys a bit of the video of this area in a bit. But here's a bit of a history around this area here, which I want to read out to you guys. So you guys can get a bit of an understanding of what went on in this 1870s hospital, which is crazy. So this is from one of the person in charge back in 1960s. So if a patient needed us, we went through the system of showering and dressing in gowns, boots, caps and masks which were placed in a fumigating cupboard. Once we'd finished with the patient, then we showered and dressed in our clean clothes again. This was the system even if it happened 10 times a day. Yo, this hospital was built in 1870 and they used to treat people from like the ships and stuff that come in and they added a morgue in 1921 to this area. So man, definitely is haunted. I'm telling you, there's a bit of an old photo of the hospital. But man, if I walk you guys through this area here, you guys are going to be buzzing out because this place does smell haunted. But yeah, this is about the hospital. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to get a bit of view of inside of the hospital. Uh, I can't seem to get it because the glass windows over here are really like covered in, in like old dust and stuff but uh, it's a bit empty but I'll try to get a video of the other hospital which has like chairs and stuff that are inside that look kind of like a old 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 church but yeah man it's a bit crazy it's crazy and it looks haunted because it does it looks haunted because if you look up the top like Look at the top up there, it just looks scary. I'm just trying to like not get any bad karma or whatever if I disturb the peace out here. But I'll show you guys. Hold on, let's go for a little journey with Adilo Chino. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship through the sky. Yo, it's I'm defo on the haunted list because wherever there's a morgue and a hospital, definitely scary people. Oh my god, I thought I heard someone. But it's just some guy calling out to his kid on the other side. I shat bricks. Looks like a shower. It's a bit scary, isn't it? But man. Oh. Imagine that, like, you come off a ship and you got a disease. And you're laying in this area here. Little fly, tra fly traps, look at that. When a ghost opens a door, that's kind of scary. But man, look at that. Damn, I'm pretty sure someone must, some, someone's soul, spirit, whatever, is definitely in this area here. Because it is scary. There's more hospitals down that way, which I don't want to take you guys on because this video is going to be too long. But it's pretty scary. Scary. I heard voices before and I was like, oh my God, it's coming from the hospital, but it's just people hanging out over there which is pretty cool there's more people over there but yeah hospital hospital there's more buildings at the back i do like a cinematic video shoot of this whole area so you guys can get a bit of a clear view of what this place looks like but yeah that's pretty crazy i better get out because i don't want to disturb the peace of some spirits and then chase me back to melbourne cbd or melbourne or whatever yo it's your boy signing out